out. He's got it. He's, he's photographing. He doesn't want it to go too fast while he's photographing. It's shy. It's camera shy. Oh, I'm sorry. So what? what is happening here? Superconductivity. Maintaining a magnetic field. Opposing the magnetic field by the, from these magnets. So it can fly. So it becomes super conductive at 301 degrees below zero. Uh -huh. When it warms to minus 290, it won't repel the magnetic field from these permanent magnets. Oh. You know, it stops, it so stops. it does it stops becoming super conductive. So just dissipates we have something energy. else that's negative 321, and therefore it becomes super conductive again. Yes, sir. And therefore, it's moving. Levitate. Woo! Oh, this is prime. That is awesome. So if you have like a track of one of these and you had a car dipped in liquid nitrogen, <laughs> you could make the car fly? Is that what you're saying? Sort of. Sort of. Magnetic for about, magnet for about a minute or two. Yeah. That's a magnet train. Yeah. If you undercoated the car with this yttrium barium copper oxide, <laughs> you got it down to 321. You got it down to 321. And powerful enough magnets to hold a lot of weight. Yeah. And then you had a racetrack that had these neodymium magnets. Right. Then you would be able to hover and levitate above the uh, tarmac. Yeah.